Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The speed greater than 5 times the speed of sound or Mach 5 is called hypersonic speed. The hypersonic weapons are extremely difficult to detect and counter given these weapons speed, maneuverability, low flight paths and unpredictable trajectories. While traditional intercontinental ballistic missiles follow relatively predictable up and down trajectory, hypersonic weapons are maneuverable and can fly at altitudes where few military sensors and radars are monitoring. They can conceivably be deployed from land, air and sea. Now there are two types of hypersonic missiles which are under development or in service with various militaries of the world. The first one is hypersonic cruise missile which is powered by an air breathing ramjet or a scramjet or dual mode ramjet which is called DMRJ engine. The second one is hypersonic glide vehicle which reach the orbit with a conventional booster before gliding towards the target. The hypersonic cruise missiles are powered throughout their flights using a scramjet engine whereas a hypersonic glide vehicle makes use of their aerodynamic shape to glide towards the target after release from a certain altitude and speed. The hypersonic glide vehicle follows zigzag trajectory during the terminal phase and not a typical parabolic path making them extremely unpredictable. At the same time, the hypersonic cruise missile has comparatively smoother path of motion but their flight altitude is much lower than hypersonic glide vehicle hence their detection in radar is nearly impossible due to earth's curvature. Now as we all know that DRDO has been working on developing hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle or HSTDV which is powered by a scramjet engine and will be used to develop hypersonic cruise missile. The development of hypersonic cruise missile which is expected to be a spin-off of HSTDV will be powered by scramjet engine and will be commenced under the project Vishnu. Recently, DRDL has released a poster with all the missiles under development by the organization which you can see on your screen. The most important of them is hypersonic cruise missile based on HSTDV and this is the first official image of HSTDV based missile in our knowledge released by DRDL. So if you look carefully, the HSTDV is mounted on a booster with six control surfaces. The booster is expected to be derived from K4 missile rather than Agni missile which was used in HSTDV trial of 2020. The missile resembles Russian Zircon and Boeing X-51 Wave Rider. DRDO is working on developing advanced material for a scramjet engine which can withstand the thermodynamic stresses in the hypersonic vehicles. Now there are two different variants of hypersonic missile likely to be developed under Project Vishnu. The first one is going to be surface to surface missile with a range around 2500 km and is expected to enter service by 2024-25. The second one is going to be a smaller and compact version of air-launched hypersonic cruise missile with a range in excess of 700 km that can be launched from an aircraft. The expected speed of these missiles will range from Mach 7 to Mach 10. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.